Hello, this is AJ. Welcome to the vocabulary lesson for the art of power. Let's get started right away. Here we go. Our first word is subconscious. We've talked about this word already several times, so I'll review it quickly. Subconscious means the deep part of your mind. It's the deep emotions, the deep thoughts that they're not at the top of your mind. You're not thinking about them. You don't realize that they are there. They're deep down. And then, of course, the the other kind of mind or consciousness is your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is what you are thinking about right now. You, you know what you're thinking about. You can kind of see it or hear it in your brain. But the subconscious is deeper. You don't see it or hear it immediately. It's not obvious. So that's subconscious. Our next word is dormant. Dormant. So Thich Nhat Hanh said that, uh, you know, often these seeds of anger or the seeds of violence or the seeds of sadness and depression, often they are dormant. Dormant means sleeping. Quite simply, it means sleeping. So again, dormant. If the seeds are dormant, it means they're sleeping. They're not growing. They're not active. They're not awake. They are sleeping. So dormant means sleeping. You hear this word with volcanoes sometimes. We'll say it's a dormant volcano. The volcano is a big mountain, right? It explodes sometimes. Well, if it's a dormant volcano, it's a sleeping volcano. It's not exploding. There's nothing happening. It's asleep. Okay, so dormant. Again, dormant means sleeping or asleep. Our next word is formation. Formation. He says that when these negative uh, emotions, these negative seeds, are fed or watered, when you give them energy, they become mental formations. So a formation is just uh, a thing, an organized thing. So, in other words, they become real things. They become alive. They become awake. They become real things. So before, you had this seed of anger, but you, you weren't angry. It's down there. It's asleep. Nothing's happening. But then maybe you, uh, you watch the news or you're around a lot of angry people. And then suddenly, that seed starts growing, and now anger becomes real. It becomes a mental formation. It becomes a real idea. It becomes a real feeling in your brain, in your mind. So again, so formation is just something that is a, it's an, something that is uh, real and organized. Something that exists in reality. All right, our next word is manifest. We've had this before. To manifest means to become real. Again, a very similar idea. So if you say, anger manifests in your mind. It means it becomes real in your mind. It, it becomes alive. So here we're using manifest as a verb. It's the action. Formation was a noun. It's a, the actual thing. But manifest, to manifest, means to become real. It's an action. It's a verb. All right, next is the word trigger, to trigger. I believe we have talked about this word before, so I'll review it quickly. To trigger, it says the environment can trigger the seeds of anger. The environment can trigger the seeds of depression or sadness. So to trigger means to turn on. To turn on. So before, the anger is asleep, it's dormant. Something happens, it triggers the anger, it turns on the anger. Now the anger is awake, now the anger is on. It, it was triggered. So again, to trigger means to suddenly turn on, to cause something to turn on. Our next word is craving. Craving. He says, if you live in a positive environment, then the seeds of craving are not watered easily. Craving means desire. It means wanting something a lot. Wanting, wanting, wanting. But it has a negative feeling. It's kind of a negative word. So it means wanting something that's not healthy. Wanting something too much. So, for example, I crave 
fat foods. I crave lots of money. It means you must have it. You really, really, really want it. You're constantly thinking about it. So here I'm using it as a verb, to crave. To crave means to want a lot, to want too much. It really has this idea of too much. You want too much. You're obsessed. So craving is a noun and to crave, the verb. To want too much. Our next word is diligence. Diligence really means discipline. It means self-control, control of yourself, control of your thoughts and control of your desires and control of your emotions. It's discipline, self-discipline. So again, that's diligence. Diligence also has the idea of being careful. Right? It means being careful. And the adjective is diligent. Diligent. If you say, he is a diligent person, it means he's a very careful person. Right? Very disciplined, very careful. The opposite would be reckless. Not careful. Just totally doing anything and never thinking about it. Never being careful. That's the opposite. So diligent, again, means disciplined and very careful. Diligent is the adjective. Diligence is the noun. So Thich Nhat Hanh says, we need diligence to be happy. It means we need to have discipline. We need to control our environment more. We have to be careful. We have to be disciplined. We have to be controlled about what we watch and what we read. We have to be diligent about our friends. We have to be careful that we choose positive friends. We have to be disciplined. Okay, our next word is suppress. He says, be careful, don't water the negative seeds. He says, also, don't suppress them. Don't suppress. To suppress means to push down by force. It means to use force to push down. So, for example, you feel angry. You're starting to feel angry. right? It's already happening. It's too late. It's happening. I'm angry. Arr! Well, if you suppress anger, it means you... <sighs> And you don't say anything, right? You, you push the anger down. You don't say anything. You don't do anything. You don't show your anger. You pretend. You are angry, but you pretend you're not. That's suppression is the noun. Suppression. Or the verb is to suppress. You are suppressing your anger. You're pushing it down. You're pretending it's not there. You are angry, but you're pretending you're not. So that's not healthy. That's not good. So Thich Nhat Hanh is saying, don't suppress your anger. If it comes up, if it's too late, it already came up, well, then you have to be honest and be open. Yes, I'm angry. You don't push it down. You don't pretend you're not angry because you give yourself a heart attack. It's very unhealthy. But he's saying, what you want to do is prevent the anger from happening. Stop it before it happens. So by feeding yourself a lot of positive thoughts, a lot of positive videos, a lot of positive books, a lot of positive people, the anger won't come up. But if it does come up, don't suppress it. Don't push it down. Okay, and our final word is wholesome. Wholesome. It says you want to find a lot of wholesome influences. You want to find wholesome books. You want to find wholesome elements within you. And within your environment, you want to be around wholesome people. Wholesome means good and healthy. Good and healthy. Wholesome. So again, wholesome means good and healthy. So for example, wholesome food. You should eat wholesome food. It means you should eat good and healthy food. Wholesome food. Or he's a very wholesome person. He's a very good and healthy person. Wholesome. Okay, well, that is all for our vocabulary lesson for The Art of Power. Listen to it a few times so you understand the vocabulary and then listen and focus on the other lessons in this 
Lesson Pack. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.